like that. Okay. Hi, this is Jamie with Hard Rock Chick, and I'm here with Holy Grail. You guys can introduce yourselves and say what you play. Hi, I'm Luna. I sing. I'm Eli, and I play the guitar. So you guys are winding down a tour right now. Uh, you've been all across the U.S. What do you miss about home when you're away? Um, I miss the weather, personally. But um, I guess... Uh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's okay. Uh, I I miss like the familiar crowds, but I mean, there's there's also uh, family and stuff that comes out. It's mm -hmm. usually cool. Yeah. Uh, I miss the beach. Um, I know that sounds like really Southern California to say, but I live really close to the beach, so like it's my thing. Mm -hmm. Long walks on the beach with my buddy. <laughs> well, he's married, so it's, it's not what you think. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I miss really good Mexican food for really cheap. Yeah. Absolutely. Not just because I'm Mexican, but because I'm from Southern California. It's just what we do. Cool. Um, so you guys are notorious for putting on a really great live show. What do you think it is about you guys that makes your show so great? And what do you think makes a good show for you personally? I think the biggest part's like the crowd interaction I feel like if I'm giving it like 190% and they're just like standing there with their arms crossed it's like really hard to like just keep keep out that energy up but if they're like going nuts and like start moshing and stuff it just makes the show like overall just like feel way more like satisfying and like makes you confident on stage it's mm -hmm. totally cool. yeah I um, the perfect show is like when everybody's into it and moshing and going crazy and then I also play really well or excuse me as a band we play really well <laughs> um, but like a lot of times they're, they're not into it um, I kind of focus more on the playing part or making them feel really awkward if we go that much crazier on stage and they're just kind of standing there and like yeah. so we go 110% you said 90 right 190 I don't know math yeah you did okay. <laughs> yeah I'm not a mathematarian <laughs> but. a mathematarian I am. Uh, so, um, you guys recorded your album with Danny Loner. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Nine Inch Nails fan, and he's known for being more involved in industrial acts. So, I'm curious to what you think that lended to your album to make it stand out. It was like, yeah, that's, we were not sure about that at first either, but I think it lended itself to like this really, I don't know, like, The production on the album is really slick and almost had like kind of like borderline industrial touches. Like on uh, uh, Blackest Night, like he, he went really in depth, with, like getting the drums and like sounding it really like syncopated and like getting this cool. But he, it was, uh, I don't know, it was, <laughs> yeah. His, his style is a lot different than what we were used to recording wise mm -hmm. and so it was just cool to see that other side of it and him coming up from like a thrash metal and like old school, like he used to play Encore Watt, which is like a Texas thrash band and stuff, like it's, he had it in his roots and then presenting that in his own way I think was cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was cool guitar wise because he does like weird stuff and Nine Nails, and then uh, also in Perfect Circle, so he was like kind of thinking outside the box, so it was really cool, like, once we finished all the like, uh, actual guitar playing, he broke out all these like toys and, uh, I should probably uh, elaborate <laughs> on that, because that sounds really yeah. bad but, uh, <laughs> it was all these like uh, pedals and stuff, and like noise makers, and so we, we sat there just one night with all these random things in, in the control room, and just had a mic, and just made mm -hmm. these weird noises some of which his dog didn't like and was like kind of howling yeah and if you really listen to headphones that's actually on the oh, album really? yeah hmm. so um yeah if you really listen to the intro of uh, hollow ground it's kind of all in there mm -hmm. so that was really cool which was a lot of stuff we wouldn't have thought of yeah so a lot of times when you guys are talked about in the press you're mentioned in conjunction with white wizard and whatever happened there what um do you think uh Is that a good thing that maybe there's some sort of like drama or story for the press to kind of latch onto there? Or are you like, I wish that no one would ever fucking bring that up again? <laughs> uh, it's not so much that. It's just, 
I mean, it's a part of what we did, and it's a part of us, so we can't deny it. And um, I just think uh, people try and create a feud, and they want, like, some drama, like a Megadeth Metallica thing or sure. something. And the press has actually tried to create this kind of turmoil, but uh, there's not really much there. It's just we left to start something more thrashy and shreddier and they're doing like you know the old school like traditional heavy metal stuff that I mean I still love that as well so it's two separate bands but yeah so speaking of kind of the label that have been put on you as like a re-thrash band some of the older metal heads would be like oh we've heard that before like why would we want to listen to that again like what do you say to that and um, what kind of do you think sets you apart? Um, I mean, I don't really see what, how we're a re thrash band, but if that's what they think or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we're just trying to make metal how we like it to be played, and if they think it's re thrash or something else, and mm -hmm. all right, I guess that works. But uh, I think there's more to it than just that, but I mean, to each his own. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. The, the retro thing, I don't, we don't think we're ever really going for it. We definitely wear, like, influences on our sleeve. But um, I don't know. It wasn't a goal to, like, cash in on some, like, you know, uh, come back on some, like, fad or something like that. We're just trying to make the best metal we can. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It's... Oh, man. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, no. What would you say is the most unexpected, coolest thing that's happened to you being a part of Bully Girl? Um, just playing with like Amon Amarth and Exodus and Blind Guardian, like just all the tours we've gotten has been mind blowing. Like getting to party with Exodus, it's so rad, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, or getting contacted by people we've like looked up to and idolized and have. And they've heard us and actually like us. And like we were in Florida and like James Murphy from like that. I mean, yeah, I don't even. Anyway, he, he had heard of us and everything. And yeah, it was just, you know, like our music. And then like Ralph, who plays in Deicide and Obituary, you know, was, was into it too. And I never would have thought that would have happened. So it was just like, it's really cool, like coming from that. And then even uh, Gary Holt from Exodus, like, you know, had us play on. on tour with them so it was just like that yeah. stuff you can't make up you know? and then like yeah. last night in Oakland like the Death Angel guys and DRI guys were there and they're like whoa it's pretty cool and it's like what yeah That's great. How, what is going on here <laughs> yeah so, so yeah it's nice to meet um like our idols kind of on like a semi-professional level mm -hmm. as opposed to just being fanboy yeah so what do you have on the horizon that uh, fans can look forward to? I know you guys are playing, after you finish one more show on this tour, you have like a one-off show at Dragon Force. Yeah. 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 Troubadour. Yeah. October 18th. Well, it's sold out anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then what else can we look for from you guys? Um, we're just going to try and like slow things down a bit and like actually try and start getting some material together because... We haven't really had time to do that, and we ha we have like riffs that we want to like bang out and stuff. So we're just kind of like hoping to get material and then try and work towards getting another record. You know? Yeah. That's kind of like our goal. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and start a family. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> Any right. takers, ladies? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, and uh, Thank you. looking forward to your show and the pizza parlor inside. <laughs> yeah, pizza party. Yeah. Ninja Turtle style, a let's do this. Fight. I think it'd be awesome, we should start one. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, all right. Let's get greasy. <laughs>